Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the TWAB from last week. I do apologize. Uh, my TWAB videos are never really like on the day, but that's mostly because uh, I'm, I'm doing other stuff. So let's talk about unraveling the synth strands. Since the launch of season of the Splicer, we've been monitoring reception and behavior around our new armor synthesis system. Today, we'd like to review a minor update around the system's currencies. Effective at the start of season 15, we will depreciate the passively earned world currency synth strand that was used to purchase armor synthesis bounties from Ada One. In its place, these bounties will be purchasable for 10,000 glimmer instead. Our hope is that this change reduces the time needed to earn your 10th synth weave tokens per class for each season. Removing this currency also frees up a slot in the consumable inventory bucket, a bucket that could be full for those of you carrying around a large quantity of items. Finally, we hope this change reduces the complexity of the armor synthesis system with only one remaining currency for each class that can be immediately turned in at 801's loom for a synth weave token. We'll continue to monitor the conversation and use and the end use of armor synthesis as season 15 rolls out. In the meantime, keep showing us your new looks. The team is inspired and delighted by your incredible creativity they've seen from guardians around the world so far. Can't wait to see more. So I'm assuming you guys have already seen all their content creators cover this because there's going to be a wide variety of reactions to this. There's going to be the one where people are going to be like, yes, they listen to us finally. Oh my God, this is good news for the community and all this other stuff, right? This is a win for the community. You're going to hear the, the one in the middle where it's going to be like, that's cool. Uh, I kind of wish it didn't come out like that, but whatever. And then probably my reaction where it's just, of course, they're going to bring it back. Like, why the fuck would they not? Obviously, they were going to bring it back. Uh, I'm part of the people who immediately knew they were going to bring it back because it was ridiculously convoluted. Why would they bring it out in this state unless they wanted to bring it back in the future, try to earn bony brownie points and say, oh, this is a win for you guys. You did it. Obviously, that's not the case because they already had ideas of doing that. Like, can you win? Can you really win and call this a win for the community if they already had it planned out? And I know people are going to be like, you don't know that, Tony. You don't know that they planned this. Like, don't I? Like, it's so obvious, bro. They've constantly, constantly done stuff like that. Put in systems that were really broken or systems that were super grindy or insert bad system here. Only for them to bring it back and be like, we've heard you guys. We're going to do the thing you want. You don't think they planned that? Like, oh, They've, they've garnered brownie points because they've listened to the community. Really? If they really listened to the community, uh, the grind, there would be no grind. And it wouldn't be, be behind uh, the store. And I know people are, are going to be like, well, what about the grind? There has to be a grind. Fortunately, there doesn't have to be a grind. There doesn't need to be a grind behind Transmog. You know the grind for Transmog in, in World of Warcraft? It's literally just put gold give gold to this one dude and it's done and you might be thinking well but gold is a currency right girl gold is a is a premium currency no it's not it's a currency that you get from everywhere you get it from doing quests you get you get it from selling stuff it's legendary shards but easier to get it's ridiculously easy to get so tr like transmog in wow is super super easy transmog in final fantasy 14 simpler than than destiny 2's not as simple as uh world of warcraft though but it is way simpler than than destiny 2's like at this point if you think this is a win for the community i don't want to burst the bubble keep keep believing that fantasy i'm just going to tell you right now it is a fantasy because we didn't there, there was no win if they had planned it from the beginning that just means that they 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 just planned to do it from the beginning and I know people are going to be like, but you can't know that for sure, bro. Everyone, everyone, ev there's so many content creators that I can, t that I can name off the top of my head that have said this, they're, they're going to run this back. So that way they can seem like they're listening to us. Even people on Twitter were saying this, but it's funny too. Cause people were also saying, oh, well, that's a conspiracy theory. It's like, really? Is it, is it really that hard to believe that a company will do a really bad system, but then run it back later to get 
to garner brownie brownie points bro i don't really think it is if you think it is then i mean bro your life must be super fucking easy because that's not that hard of logic to like to follow uh so yeah this is really funny because for me uh as you guys know i play a lot of destiny 2 uh mostly because i cover the game like it's my job uh have around 4,000 hours in the game so that should probably show you how much time i put in destiny 2 so like i i put a lot of time in this season alone and i don't even have one of my classes at 10 of the cap and i know people are gonna say see you don't well, then why do you want the cap and i'm gonna argue back with well because the grind was really hard or not really hard but really lengthy that's why i don't have 10 yet with this new system in place best believe i can get 10 easily and i know people are gonna, like it's the thing it's like i already know how people react to my conversations because i get it every time i come or I, I make one of these videos i always see that comment i'm like of course like it's not I don't think it's outlandish to have asked the transmog system to be a gift to the community. I don't think it's outlandish to have asked this system to just be simplified, like maybe a thousand glimmer and maybe 10 legendary shards or not even 10 legendary shards, just a thousand glimmer would unlock one piece of armor for you. Meaning that like 5,000 glimmer would have been enough for one care for one uh, armor set. And I don't think it's outlandish for for of us to ask like no don't put it behind the store at all like let this be our thing let this be the thing that we have now people i know people will say oh well that would have depreciated the uh the eververse transmog stuff and i don't i don't think it would have like at all i think that would have been healthy competition for the artists that do those skins because then at that point they would have to be pushing out really dope skins again free trans or the free transmog would have been incentive for eververse uh weapon armor skins to be really really good like outlandishly good and at that point i probably wouldn't complain because at least the at least we have transmog and transmog is making some other system better so i don't know your head goes to they would have lost money from eververse my head goes to they would have to compete with their own system and at that point we would have gotten even better skins like which one is the better of the of the situations i think mine is we get better skins for that um i just i don't know man this uh this is funny this is definitely funny um i know people are going to be happy about this rightfully so it's destroying the grind that much more um the next thing i think needs to be done is the bounties themselves the bounties are just ridiculous uh I've done all of the vanguards and all of the all of the vanguards and like one of the crucible ones and I was like man fuck this I'm doing I'm doing vanguard vanguard is it's like supremely easy so yeah this is pretty cool let me know your thoughts and comments below uh since strands um I know I'm gonna have a lot of people trying to defend Bungie for this and if you are I mean dude like at this point just tell me that all you play is destiny 2 and that every other game is shit like at this point because i i just don't understand how someone can blindly tell me like this is system it was already good i don't know why they needed to change this it's like bro like oh my god i just it, you are the type of player that gives me a fucking aneurysm so next up on this on the list is double your fun next week night falls will feature double rewards we will also have a mixed bag of rewards as palindrome the swarm and shadow price will be all dropping so everything is on the menu and with double rewards it's a fantastic opportunity to pick up more rolls of to add them to your collection for the first time jesus christ speaking of nightfall rewards starting in season 15 the nightfall weapon rotation will be changing instead of six weapons in a one to one to one to three rotation as we had in the second half of season 14 we'll have eight weapons in pairs consisting of newer and older weapons you might remember the new weapons being reprised from destiny one as a hilarious shotgun and a rocket launcher that was the ultimate reward for doing the longest crucible quest each week one of these new additions will be featured along with another weapon already in the pool for example the comedian and shadow price and the hothead with hung jury the additions this season have the spicy perk combinations typical of nightfall loot including a couple of perks not seen in these archetypes in the past so 
I guess like there's good things and there's bad things. Uh, the one good thing is like you're getting more weapons. So like let's say for example, uh, Uzumi and then another weapon that you like are dropping. At that point, you could be farming both of them at the same time. I think that would be pretty cool. But for me, uh, I, I'm probably gonna stick to the more negative spot where it's gonna be a weapon I want and a weapon that I don't want because a lot of the nightfall weapons to me are not worth it. And like Shadow Price, uh, what's the other one? The Swarm, Hung Jury. There's a few weapons I can name that I'm just like, I don't want these weapons mostly because like they're they're not worth it. Hung Jury is a perfect example. The Swarm is just another LMG. Shadow Price is a little too weak. It's the archetype's fault really. So for me, this, this sounds cool, but I would much rather have Bungie let us choose either in the beginning or at the end. Uh, let me talk about the beginning. If we if we were able to choose like, let's say weapons or not weapons, if we choose like the difficulty, if you get to Grandmaster or Master, I would like an option to choose like which weapon are you trying to get for? And at that point, it locks that weapon and the other one not doesn't get locked or you can choose whether or not you want both of them. That would be pretty cool. Or realistically, what they could do is at the end of the nightfall, when you get the box, you can actually look into it like the, the raids. And that at that point, you can either choose all of the weapons from this season or whatever weapons they're introducing that week. Because if they do four, then at that point, you can choose whatever you want. I think where this can kind of get muddy is adept weapons. I think at that point, they might have to just be like this this these two weapons are the only weapons that are going to get adept and adept weapons are random <sighs> i don't know I, like because i don't think you should be able to choose adept weapons from like the four selections just because i feel like it's gonna be too easy even though you have to go through the whole thing i don't know uh, i would love the targeted loot don't get me wrong but I feel like Bungie would not do that. I mean, Bungie's not going to do what I'm saying anyways. But, I mean, it's just a cool thought. And I constantly get people telling me, if you don't have any solutions, then don't say anything at all. This is my solution to this. Because I don't think this is a good system. Mostly because people are going to be wanting to get one weapon and not the other. Unless we're getting two good weapons that week. And then at that point, people wouldn't complain. But more often than not, I think people are going to want one weapon over the other. And it's just going to be adding another level of RNG that a lot of people are not going to like, especially for high end content, bro. At that point, like for grandmasters, I, I just want the one weapon, which is why I'm doing the nightfall, which is like why I'm going to do a night, uh, a grandmaster all, well, I say all week, but I only have until Monday and today. So I'm going to do it all day tomorrow, probably. So that way I can get in an Uzumi, the God roll Uzumi that I want. Because with the new changes rolling now, let's say Uzumi and then Hung Jury came out at the same time. Or no, no, not Hung, Hung, Hung Jury, no. Uzumi and the Comedian. Let's say both of those came out at the same time. Now, I'm in a, I'm in a tough pickle because now I want to grind for Uzumi, specifically the one with a, a magazine perk, then a triple tap, and then under, no, not under pressure. And high impact reserves. That is the god roll I'm looking for. The the masterwork doesn't really matter too much to me in the end of the day. I would like a range one, maybe, or maybe a handling one. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm specifically looking for triple tap and high impact reserves. Now you're telling me I have to get that, or I'm gonna get another weapon that I really don't give a shit about. You're adding another level of RNG that I'm already not interested in. So those are really my thoughts about this. Um, the whole situation with the Sin Strand is super cool, but at the same time, uh, you shouldn't give Bungie credit for that because they were going to do it anyways. We knew they were going to do it anyways because it's just, it's logical. <laughs> no, like you're not going to tell me any, everyone from Bungie didn't know that we weren't going to like this. You're not, you're not going to tell me that because they're like, they're not that oblivious. I hope to God they're not that oblivious, but that might be the case either way. If you didn't think they were going to run this back, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You must live an easy life. But all I'm saying is I knew it was going to happen. It happened. A lot of content creators knew that it was going to happen because we've seen this multiple times. I don't know. At the end of the day, uh, you definitely shouldn't give them credit for something that was horrible from the start. 
and I will probably never let Bungie let this down, live this down because they try to get away with this system, which is super scummy. So I'm sorry that I'm 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 for I'm I'm on the side of the consumer on this one. Oh, that's weird. It's not like I'm a consumer myself, but whatever. Uh, better than thinking the that Bungie's like my friend or something. You fucking weird. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. If you guys want to follow me on my Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash fixtony. You can go there, uh, check me out. We have a lot of fun and we wild out and we play Destiny 2 occasionally. But other than that, I will see you guys later.